Hi friends, in this lesson you will learn how to create a header. So for header, I have choose this Figma design in which logo is on left side, navigation menu on center and search on right side. You will see this type of header in many in many Figma designs. Logo is on left side, navigation on center and the other icons and buttons on right side. Go to templates area which is under bricks menu. Then Click on add new. Type here your header name. Then select the template type header. Then publish it. After publishing, click on edit with bricks. There are two ways to create a header. Create header from scratch. Just click on the template icon. Go to community template. Select template type to header. You can import a header template from here. But in this video, you will create from scratch. To create a header, first add a section, select the container and add a logo, navigation menu and search element inside it. Let me make it small. Select the container again and change direction to horizontal. They are up and down to make it in center. Change align cross axis into center. Now I want navigation menu in center in the search element on right side. To do this, change align main axis to space between. Now you can see we have created a header like a Figma design. To make it beautiful, go to style tab and add some padding. Now let's add a border type bottom 1 pixel style solid and change the color to dark color. Now you can see we have created this beautiful header. In this header, there is a one problem. If you will add more than three items, it will not look like the Figma design. Let me add one icon. Now you can see our navigation menu is not in center and we have added a four item. So to make navigation menu in center, in these two icons on right side, right click on search element and wrap it into a div. Also put the icon inside it. Now you can see all our icons are on right side. It is not looking good. To tweak it, select the dew block and you will see here a display option. Change the display option to flex. Change action to horizontal and change align main axis and cross axis to center. Now you can see you have created this beautiful header with few clicks. In mobile, the navigation menu is in center, which is not good as a UI and UX. So I will move it to a right side or left side. In this video, I will show you four type of mobile headers. We duplicate it. So in the first header, I want the navigation menu on the left side. To do this, I will select the navigation menu. In layout tab, scroll down to positioning. And you will see here a flex order option. Default value of all the item is 0. You can see it here. If I will put a bigger value, navigation menu will move to the right side. If I will put a smaller value, our navigation menu will move to the left side. So let me type here minus 1. Now you can see we have created this beautiful header just changing a flex order. You will notice this type of header in many Figma design. In the second header, I want the navigation menu in the right side. This time select the logo and layout tab, scroll down and flex options, you will see a flex grow. If I will put here one, you can see our logo has grown and take up the entire available space. By just changing the flex grow, you have created the second header. Your client say I want the navigation menu here, let me duplicate it again. Make a navigation menu to right side, select the navigation menu and change the flex order to 1. As I told earlier, I will put a bigger value or item will move to the right side. In the fourth header, I want the navigation menu move to the left side and our logo also stay on left side. So select the navigation menu and change the flex order to minus 1. By putting smaller value, the navigation menu move to the left side. But I also want logo stay on left side. Select the logo and change the flex grow to 1. You can see it just changing a one value. We have, we have created these four beautiful headers. It all are responsive. You can see in desktop and tablets looking good. And in mobile landscape and mobile portrait, 
all these four headers are looking good now let's check the logo options from here you can choose a logo image logo inverse if you want to change the logo on scroll you can select the logo inverse from here by default a logo link is set to website address you can change it from here if you want there is a loading option the loading option is set to eager if you want lazy loading on logo you can select the lazy option from here in this text area you can put website name here your logo will not render in any case this text will be displayed in logo position now menu there are two ways to create a navigation menu in the next video you will learn how to create a navigation menu by using nestable element and old nav element and what are the advantage and disadvantage of both elements search element by default search type is set to input and input option is here you can change its width and height in the placeholder text from here also its color and border etc if you want to add a button and icon here you can set it from here Now you can see icon is added here. If you want text instead of icon, you can remove the icon and add text here. And here you will see a size and color options. Overlay. By default, the search type is set to input. If you want, you can change it to overlay. Now you can see the input field has gone. Now user will see only a search icon, but if he will click on it, the search option will show in overlay. You can change the text color and background color of this overlay from here. For semantic reason, normally we add a header section HTML tag of header, but in Bricks, there is no need to add a header tag here because in developer tool, you can see here this is our header section. You can see it is highlighted here. And Bricks has automatically wrapped it into a container with header tag. So there is no need to add a header tag. I will suggest you change the section tag to div because we add a section tag and there is no semantic tag for a section. But header section is on semantic tag. And the second reason is we add a section tag to those container which has heading inside it. But mostly in header, we don't use h1, h2, and h3 tag elements. That's why I will suggest change HTML tag from section to div. Now to set a condition, bring cursor here. You will see the header setting option. When you will click on this, it will open the header setting. You can also open it from here. Then you can see here a template setting. You will see a header template setting here. Here is a header location. By default, it is set to top. If you want to make the header on right side like a sidebar or on left side, you can change it from here. Sticky header option is here. If you want to stick it on scroll, you can enable this option. Condition. Here you can set the condition to show this header on entire website or specific pages and posts. I select entire website. You can also set multiple conditions like I want excluded from error page, then you can exclude it from here. It will show on the entire website, not only on error pages. You can set multiple conditions from here. Populate content. From here, you can select a post or page, then you can see the preview how the header is looking on those pages. I hope. You have learned something new today. See you in the next video.